Hi, good morning everybody. Welcome back to the kitchen and visiting the channel in today's Arrow Garden update. It's the weekend. I've got my coffee. We are on day 25 growing and we've been doing updates right from the very beginning. It's finally time to start harvesting. So if you've been watching as we go along right from the beginning, we've seen all the herbs growing up. Now it's time to finally harvest a bit of the dill and we'll show you how to properly harvest and trim the dill in the arrow garden in a second. But just before that, just thanks for everybody for joining me. Thanks for following along. It's been fun to watch these, these herbs grow. They're all growing now, which is pretty awesome. First day harvesting, always a little bit nervous, but uh, I did a bit of research, so we'll show you the proper way to do it. And we'll trim a bit of the dill off. And I'm going to make with this one, I'm not gonna do it on the channel, but just for lunch today, I'm going to make, uh, use the dill to put in a potato salad. So just a quick, simple, simple lunch. Good way to use up some dill. We're not gonna have a ton of it because it's just really at the point where it's just starting to kind of trim. So I'm just gonna kind of shape it a little bit, but it'll be fun to kind of use the herbs in a fresh, fresh salad. So thanks for joining along. If this is your first time here and you wanna see some of the videos from the beginning, I have a whole playlist from the Arrow Garden right from the unboxing all the way up until today. So you can see the the herbs growing and you can also learn a little bit about the arrow garden along the way we've answered lots of questions from everybody so i thank everybody for their questions i have a couple more that were commented a couple days ago that i will get to in an upcoming video so stay tuned for that and if you want subscribe hit the notification bell then you'll get notified we'll also do it on this channel we do the live videos regularly monday wednesday and friday we had one yesterday where we did a konomiyaki it was a lot of fun so if you're interested in learning how to cook as well, join the channel and join me in one of the, one of the live streams. So let's get into the arrow garden and we will trim the dill on this one. Okay, before we trim, I'll just give an update with the screen here just to show you the dates we're at. So we are at day 25 days planted and we have three more days before we have to give it some more arrow garden of the fertilizer, uh, plant food, liquid, plant food fertilizer. So let's take a look here at the herbs first because you'll be able to see here that we really are getting some growth. And as you can see, the dill is quite large. So it's growing up. We're gonna be trimming it down just so it doesn't block a lot of the other, other herbs from growing. And I'm gonna raise the light a little bit and we'll give an update and then we'll trim at the very end. So, as you can see, the dill is going crazy in the back there. So we're gonna cut that back today. And then second place is, this is all the, this is the Thai basil. And this is really coming up. We're gonna have to trim this as well. We'll have basil in something. I think in probably Monday on the live stream, we'll use some, we'll use some fresh basil for sure. And then this is the Genovese basil slower growing but bigger bigger leaves for sure for this one so we have a lot of that coming up for upcoming recipe and then the curly parsley i'd say that's in fourth place there curly parsley coming up we'll have to let that grow for a while before we harvest that and then i noticed this morning the thyme has hit the dome so we will take the thyme off the dome off the thyme and let that start growing that's really come up it's always starting, to, once it, once it kind of comes up and hits the top, it, it seems to just explode with growth. So that's a good thing. And our mint, last but not least, our mint is still coming up finally. So that's looking, looking good. It's coming up there. So we're going to leave that dome cover. That's the last one covered. And before we do the trim, let's just double check the water because I'm probably going to have to add a little bit. No, it looks okay. I think we'll it's always hard to see in there in the camera, but it, uh, it still doesn't need to get filled yet, but it has come down a little bit from yesterday. So let's do some trimming of the dill. Let me see how close I can get here. Basically there, perfect. I've got, just to show you here, I've got my kitchen uh, scissors. So you wanna use scissors to trim, to trim this. And basically what we want to do is we wanna bring we want to trim it down so there's not as not as spindly here. So we're going to take a lot of these longer stems off because you can see we're getting a lot of growth right in the middle there. And we really want those to come up. So we'll cut off a couple of sprigs here just to show. For these tall ones, we want to go right down, right down close to the bottom. And you can take that off. We'll show all these after. I'll put them on a plate and we can take a look what we get. 
And then some of the other ones, you can see where, and I'll try and show it in the camera with this one. We'll leave, we'll leave these two going. We'll take the top part off. So we want to trim off just above where it splits like so. And when we're trimming, we don't want to take more than a third of the whole plant off because that would, that will be not good. It would, it would definitely cause it too much stress. So I'm just going to take off a couple more. I'm going to leave some of the ones that are growing. If there's a leaf that you leave on that's growing, it will continue to grow. If we're cutting them back down, these won't, these won't continue to grow. It'll come up from the center. So, and I'm going to take off one more here of the tall one, just down from the bottom right there. And let me get a, so that's come down a little bit, which is nice. So it's not taking up all the space. And then we can lower what we can do is we can lower and you can see it's come down a little bit. We'll probably have to trim that again, probably tomorrow, but we've got enough for the salad. I'm gonna lower this down just above where they hit. What happens is if you don't, as you saw with some of the, some of the, some of the, um, the dill stalks coming up, if they grow too, too much up, they get long and spindly and they just don't really produce anything. And, it, and so the light is too, and it can't touch the light or they'll burn from the, from the, from the ultraviolet of the light, but you want to keep the light as low as possible. So the other, other herbs that are shorter will get, will get their fair share of light. Whereas if I kept this growing, it's going to get long and spindly because I keep having to raise the light and then the herbs on the bottom aren't going to get the same amount of light. So we want to keep everything roughly the same height and size. So trim down that way. So there we go. That's the first time harvesting herbs from the arrow garden. I'm going to switch back and we'll show you in the camera what we, what we've harvested. All right. That's always fun. So we've got a good bit of dill here to use up. I'm going to put this on a plate and we will just, what I'll do is just cover it just for the, and put it in the, in the fridge until I have to use it. So we've got four, four nice pieces. What I'll do to use this in the recipe is with the dill, you want to just take off the, the leaf part and use that in your recipe. You won't be using the thicker, thicker, uh, branch like stalks or branches off that. We'll just pick off each individual, uh, sprig of dill. And then if we're tossing it in a salad, it's usually fine. Or you can even just chop it up a little bit and goes like there. So that is our first harvest from the Arrow Garden. A sip of coffee and we'll do the sign off. Thanks everybody for joining me on this one. It's always exciting. Finally got some something to use in one of the recipes, which is awesome. I think we're going to have a lot of dill and a lot of basil in the near future in a lot of these recipes. So thanks for joining me. Have a great weekend. I will be back tomorrow for another Arrow Garden update. We might have to maybe do a bit of trimming on the basil. We'll see how we'll see how it goes, see how it grows. It's always fun checking this on the morning and it's great to have you along. If you have any questions on the Arrow Garden, leave them in the comments below. I will answer them in an upcoming video. I do have a few more questions from people that have left have left them in the prior videos. I have them. I have them written down so we will get to your we will get to your questions in a future video. So thanks for joining along. Have a great Saturday everybody and we will see you tomorrow.